Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you that took the time out of your day to hit that button to watch this video. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family because I appreciate all of you and it's so fun here. I think I have amazing subscribers so far. Um, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below. I always do my best to reply back so that I can have those wonderful conversations with you guys because I just appreciate you. Without you, I wouldn't have a reason for being here and doing this. So I just, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, today I have a Dollar Tree haul and I found some more Valentine's Day items and I found some wish list items, but real fast before I got get going, I wanted to kind of reintroduce myself. Um, paying attention that my numbers have grown quite a bit like since around the Christmas time a little bit before um, not everyone knows really me and who I am and I think it makes sense when you're watching people's channels just kind of knowing who you're buying for and the things that I talk about day to day like on my videos so my name is Amber obviously um, I love to do lists like I'm constantly writing a list which is the reason the name of my channel is Amber's to-do list it's actually really funny my husband laughs every time I talk about putting something on my to-do list he's like hey, I see what you did there and it, it's just because that was like my normal thing and then I started the channel to kind of go along with my normal life right so um, I am married my husband and I have been married we are in our we just had our two-year anniversary well we didn't just have we had our two-year anniversary back in August um, so we're going towards our three-year wedding anniversary but we've been together obviously longer than that I have three kiddos. I have Braxton. He is 11 and in fifth grade. He is my baby that I, you know, did all the work for. And then I have two bonus babies that came along with my husband and they are Lorelai and Eric. Lorelai is nine and Eric is seven. And um, I love the happy little family that we have created. Um, if you ever have any questions about blended families, like that's what we're living in is a blended family and it has its ups and downs but mostly ups like i love our family i wouldn't change anything um i live in colorado and i love it here i've been here my whole life my husband is from california originally but um, i've been in colorado my entire life and i love it here uh, I love party planning and buying things at Dollar Tree to help support my party planning. And I love decorating for holidays and I just love like making gift baskets. And I love using the Dollar Tree to do all that because I feel like it's a budget friendly way to get it all done. So that's just a little bit of who I am. Sorry for the long intro, but you know, that way you just kind of know who I am if you're new here. Um, and I hope you decide to stick around and stay and watch my videos for a while. So if you have any questions to any more about who I am or anything, feel free to drop them down below in the comments because I just think it's easier if you kind of know where I'm coming from when I'm showing all the stuff because I talk about Eric Lorelei Braxton all the time and so then that way you kind of know. Um, my husband's name is Cameron. I say my hubby more often than Cameron, but um, that way if I'm dropping names, you know who I'm talking about and all that stuff. Anywho, let's get to the point. Dollar Tree, and I found some of my wish list items. I will say my Valentine's Day wish list is huge, just like my fall wish list was and my Christmas wish list. I see people haul things and I just really want them. And so I go out looking for them. And today, um, I've gone shopping twice today and the other day, and I have the stuff from that. And I found some of the wish list items. So let's get going. First, let me show you. I got these little fuzzy friends. This guy is, I think, the box of chocolates would be my assumption. He is so cute. I'm covering up one of the cute parts. His little kiss on his cheek. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking tear trays for these because I do have a tear tray in my kitchen and these are just like the right size to fill them in. We got the little milk shake. Also has a little cute kiss on his cheek, the little straw, and a little like, cherry on top. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. We got the cupcake with the heart on top. And maybe the heart means he doesn't get a kiss. Like, why doesn't the cupcake get a kiss? So, super cute on that one. And then my favorite, like, my favorite, is the little donut. Um, it took two tries to get the donut. I went to two stores in the same day. The first store had the three other ones, and then the second store had the donut. So I was able to pick him up. I say him, but they should all be hers. They're just cute and girly. But I guess they have little girly lips. 
like little kisses so cute the donuts my absolute favorite i saw a bargain bethany she cut like the arms and legs off and put them in her tree oh my tree so i just kind of stuck some valentine's day stuff in it this isn't staying i finally bit the bullet and i bought tree bags because i'm always shoving them in the box they come in and as you know you can never fit the tree back into the box and so I finally just ordered the bags, but they're on their way. And so I'm like, why fight it? Just leave the tree up a little longer while I wait for the bags to get here. I think Wednesday they're supposed to be here. And I like the spot for recording. I like the lighting and stuff. And so I was like, you know, let me just throw some of my, my stuff that I've picked up. So I have other, like this has another spot that I'm already ready for it. Well, it's not ready. It's still my hot cocoa bar and I still haven't taken it down because we did hot cocoa last night. And so I wanted to keep it the fun hot cocoa bar, but it's coming down now and that's going to go in there. And I just have other ideas for this stuff. But until then, this was cute. So it's not staying though. All right. I found these. These were huge on my wish list. I asked my sister who lives about two hours away from me and she's because of my channel, I think, um, Dollar Tree Addicted. And so she goes all the time. I told Jay from Frugal Jay because she always helps a sister out. Um, but today I found them and I was so excited. So I let both of them know I found them. Stop looking for me. And we got these conversation hearts. So they're like the big, thick, sturdy, fake wood. They're nice and thick. This is like paper on the outside. So if you're wondering how these are made, it looks like this side right here around the edge is painted. And then this is paper like stuck on it. So really, if you wanted to like big sturdy wood pieces to do DIYs, these would be awesome for that because I think this will rip right off. I'm not trying to because I want them as the conversation heart. But when I like look right here where it's just kind of lifting, you could probably like rip that right off if you're a DIY person and you just want the heart. But so I got the purple XOXO, the blue cutie pie. Oh, I love these. Like these were huge on my wish list, guys. The pink love. And then the green be mine. And I was so excited. Like I almost squealed. Like I almost squealed. One thing I wish, like I wish they would paint the back because then on tear trays, they would look nicer. But I don't know where I'm putting these. Actually, I think I'm going to go back to my original recording spot eventually. And those will probably be in my background of that. And then I kept seeing people haul these. And I wanted them so bad. I didn't know which one I wanted more. And so I was at the store and I was debating. And I picked up the Be Mine. But I'm like, wait a second. I like the My Love. And why fight it? I got them both. Um, still in Colorado, my stores are a dollar. Someone asked me if I asked any of the workers. I haven't because I'm so afraid I'm going to jinx it and like ask like, hey, are you going up to a dollar 25? And they're like, yeah, tomorrow. And I don't want to jinx it. So I'm going to just keep living out the dollar price tag as long as possible. So these are the same way. It's just some paper like kind of laminated on there. And I don't know how the glitter's on there, but I've noticed that this doesn't seem to have a lot of fallout. So these aren't terrible about the glitter fallout, I don't think so cute though like super excited to find those now these weren't on my wish list and i picked these up for others because nomi's aren't super my jam but i got two just in case i want to keep a set i know for sure i'll probably send out a set but these guys are cute i know they have the big ones and people are finding them because you're leaving me comments and letting me know but i have not seen the big guys yet in my area but these little ones are really cute too and so we got him holding a heart and we got him, this one I like a lot, holding the letter. Like, I think this one's really cute. So, those are really cute. Like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping any. I don't know if I'm sending them all out. I don't have a plan of who I'm sending them to. But I knew that they were cute so that I wanted to share them with somebody, right? These were on my wish list. I think Lorelai will love this. But I also think it's just cute because it'll go on some of my shelves. So I may or may not have Lorelai be, like, have this in her room after Valentine's Day. I can't decide, but I knew it was really cute, so I picked it up. And so that cupcake in there is a little bit like 3D, so it's got something pop out to make it stick out in there. I don't know if you could tell on camera or not, but super cute. And these shadow boxes would be really cute for DIYs too. I've been trying to keep an eye out for like DIY inspiration, and I haven't come up with anything yet that I like that I really want to do. So I haven't done any DIYs. I don't have any planned. I picked up this sign it says forever is too short with you and I really think it was adorable I like the little saying on it this has glitter fallout I had some on my phone I kept thinking like is there something on my cheek no it's a piece of this glitter I don't know if you could see it it's all over it I don't know if like running like a blow dryer over it to get it all off and then hairspraying it like I don't know but 
still super cute so I grabbed that and then the other big sign I grabbed I hadn't seen this I don't think that I'm aware of but when I saw it in the store I liked it and it says I love you I really like the um, pink polka dotted background of it a lot and you can hang it because it has the ribbon or like I have my bookshelves that I like decorate for holidays and I thought maybe I could lean it on its side possibly and have it in there or I don't know I'd say in a tree but I don't have a big tree my all occasion tree is a small little tree that's completely sad and empty right now but it's coming I'm going to decorate it eventually I picked up some tissue paper so these each come with 10 pieces I don't think it tells you like how many hearts versus how many of the plain pink oh yeah it does four print six solid so this one will have four of the hearts and then six pinks this will have four of the happy valentine's day and six reds and i always do a little gift for the kiddos and obviously for my husband too and so i just wanted some of the um, fun tissue paper to be able to use to wrap it i picked up this scarf i think i have some scarves on my toe that has like my past valentine's day decor but i couldn't tell you for sure i use them as tree skirts around my little all occasion tree but I really liked this one. I like the print on it. I like the little letters, like the little love notes. The tic-tac-toe is really cute too. And then there's hearts on it. I can't tell what they say. Let's see. Hugs and kisses. I love you. There's a little camera on it. So I just thought that that print was really cute. So I picked it up. Sorry if you can hear that. My dogs are right here taking well, one of them. She's taking a little sip. She's thirsty. She's parched because she just keeps going. I love these cards, um, the homemade ones from Viola, and so I grabbed this one for my husband. So um, usually I pick up several on Valentine's Day, and I just kind of stick them, like when he first wakes up, I kind of put one either in the bathroom or on his nightstand when he falls asleep, because he always falls asleep before me. And then I usually will put one like in the bathroom then, and then like, so that like throughout the day, and then when he comes home, I have another one like on the bed. And he just rolls his eyes at me because yeah but i like i love cards so um it's fun for me makes me happy and he just knows who i am so he just is like fine whatever so i have three kiddos like i said and so i like to do little goodie bags for their classes and so whenever i start seeing the stuff i start picking up the stuff because you never know how fast it's gonna go and if i see something that i want to share i want to just make sure i have it on hand so i grab the bags and so each of these come with 20 and so I do 25 each kiddo I know that they don't have that many in their classes this year but I'd rather have more than not enough and so I always just plan for 25 each kid and so I grabbed four sets of these bags and so that one is well not four sets I grabbed four sets of bags so I got one set of the hearts one set of the happy valentine's day i love it that they put a like white piece of paper in there so you can see the print on that one very smart thinking there was a dog right there a second ago but she's moving i got one set of these hearts i like these ones a lot too and then one set one cent one set of the gnomes and it says gnome buddy no there's gnome buddy like you he's got a little kiss on his nose that's really cute so that way I have two, four, six, eighty, which is more than enough. And like I said, I like to always get extra. And for those, I picked up some suckers. So I got two of each. So I got two of these ones. They're the Tiger Pops Very Berry. It has cherry and blue raspberry in it, and they are heart shaped. There's 20 in each bag. So like I said, I picked up two. So I'll have extra, but that's okay. And some I might use for like decoration. I might do a little mini candy bar in my coffee station because I don't necessarily follow through with the hot cocoa station. But And then this one is Tiger Pops Swirled. So it's strawberry and cream flavors. So it's like the white and the red, strawberry and cream. And like I said, I got two of each. So those are the other ones. And then for the kiddos, so I always do a little gift for them, and I didn't know which bag I liked better, so they probably will get two each. I picked these up. They're the Whack-A-Pack 
balloons. So I've gotten these in the past and they love them. So they put them on the table or floor or whatever and they hit, if you hit it real hard, it breaks something in there and they puff up and then they're kind of like just full of air and they can be like ornaments or whatever. And I've seen them out for several holidays, but I just thought all those were cute. You can't see them all, but that one, like the blue one right there has like a cat on it. This one just looks like, like an eye. I didn't bring scissors. Okay, they're easy to open. Let's let's look at them. I didn't know which ones I liked best, like I said, and you can't see them all. I know this one was cute because it has your dino mite with the dinosaur. So he's cute. Behind there is the little red truck. The letters. Yep, like love notes in the back of it. Oh, that one's cute. You're my meow meowentine. So it's got like a cat with some balloons. And that one's really cute. Oh, and that one's just the heart with love. And then they also come with the strings. So like if you want to turn them into ornaments, you can. And I got another pack. This one I got, so this was the second pack I got because I went to two different stores. I didn't see it at the first one. And I got it because I knew Eric would like this one. You are jawsome. Because he likes sharks. Oh, Magical Valentine. That's perfect for Lorelai. Super cute with the unicorn. So it says you're Wooly the Coolest. with. I'm sure it's supposed to be a llama, but I love alpaca. I'm so excited. So it's the stock show in Colorado. It starts, I think, officially tomorrow. I don't know if today it starts, but tomorrow. And I think tomorrow's the first day. Um, and there's always alpaca at the at the stock show, and I love alpaca. Like, if I had land and room, like, I would have a herd of alpaca because oh, I just want to snuggle them and love them, and so I call that an alpaca. Total side note there, but oh my gosh. If you have alpaca, comment down below so I could be super jealous of your life. I also want chickens and, and stuff, but I really want alpaca. And then XOXO. So those are cute. I'm going to give them to the kids. They'll each get two because that's how many I have enough for so and then maybe I'll add a couple to my husband's gift um so along with the kids gifts I grabbed them some I don't know if they're all gonna get this I grabbed three thinking all three of them they have watermelon which is pink too so I might go get Lorelei watermelon these are my husband's favorite candy as well the Wiley Wallaby licorice this stuff is so good guys like so good this strawberry flavor my husband introduced it to me, and then when I find it at Dollar Tree, I get all excited. So I got these to put in the kids' bags, but like I said, I might go swap out. Well, I'm, I mean, not swap out, but I might go get some watermelon instead and do the pink one in Lorelai's bag, and then I could do one of these in my husband's because he loves those. I got these to, pro to give away at some point. I don't know exactly who or why, but I figured why not. They're cute. This is sparkly, though, and so it's a little rough. On the, I mean, it's really cute the way it looks, but it's not cozy. But super cute. And so I grabbed those to put into something. Um, I saw this. I grabbed it for Lorelai for her little package, her little gift. So now I have to find something for the boys to kind of correspond-ish or something for them too. But I thought that was really cute. It's got the several, six different colors. It tells me right there. So six different colors. There is the colors down there there we go to show you i think she'll love that she likes the lol dolls so i got these they are felt flowers i know i have seen the foam ones around but when i saw the felt ones i had to pick them up i love them i think that they are gorgeous i don't know what i'm doing with them yet but i'm going to decorate somehow with them potentially can um DIY with them too but I mean they're so pretty you could just like stick them in things and then I was so excited to find these so Halloween they had the really cute little gnome garden for Halloween and I never found it and I wanted it so bad and so I started seeing these go around and I'm like I probably won't find those either because the Halloween ones never came around but they did so I picked up a few for my tear trays I don't know what this is just like a cute little cake like a double double cake or two little cupcakes little house that'll be so cute on a tear tray I like this one a lot it's like a little ice cream cone oh my gosh that's so cute 
And then I picked up the little table and chairs. Is I th it's, that's what it reminds me of is that it would be a little table and chairs, but maybe not. It's like a cake with the little teacups. Yeah, teacups. I don't know my brand. I was like, oh, it's like a little you know table and chair. Maybe not. But either way, it's cute, and it'll be a cute addition to the tear tray. And then the ice cream truck. I feel like I've picked this up before, but I don't know if it's come out before. So I don't know if it just looks like... Actually, yeah, I think it was blue. I think I picked up a blue one at some point. So no, I probably haven't picked that up. Super cute. And then, of course, the accessories that go along with it. So I got this one. It's got the little unicorn i don't know why he reminds me of the unicorn in um despicable me with the minions the little girls one and then there's like a little cake on a cake stand and some balloons so i thought those little accessories were too darn cute this are like little ice cream sunday little ice cream sundays but they have little doors on them two of them do the two bottom ones i don't know but they're cute they'll be cute on a tear tray and then this one, I don't understand the arcade. It says arcade, but then there's an ice cream cone and like a a sucker or something. I didn't understand the arcade, but I liked the other two, so I grabbed it. Um, I have a little bit more down below in a bag, but I picked this up too. Um, this is the second time I've hauled one because I have the other one in there still because I'm doing one as a gift basket for my best friend. I'm doing a Schitt's Creek themed gift. It's supposed to be for Christmas. But we gave ourselves grace and we're giving our gifts late. I actually need to finish that then. I need to finish those up. Because we both are the same and overwhelmed at Christmas time. And so we love each other enough to just say, let's do Christmas later for, for each other so that we don't have to keep stressing. Anyway, so I got one for that. This one I got because I was holding it and my brain said, you know what, this would be a perfect basket. I'm going to stick it towards the bottom of my stairs. My kids, my kids, I love them they will bring down something just to like show me right like look mom look at this and then set it on the table and go back upstairs like take it take it with you take it back up take it back to your room like cool i seen it now take it so they are just dropping like go do other things they're kids they're seven nine and eleven so my thought for this is anything that they just leave behind instead of like it you know gets moved here and it gets put there and it does and then like if I forget to tell them to take it up there then of course it sits there. it's all going to go in here and then they're responsible for it to get it back up to their room and then if it doesn't leave there in so long then it's mine and I can do whatever I want with it that's kind of my thoughts I found this I've seen a couple people haul it or I think I've seen it on Instagram and I thought it was really neat so this is green tea infused and it's an eyebrow highlighter so I use eyeshadow underneath you know as the highlighter and it's like a light pink and I was like you know let me try the pencil like I'm super curious to see if that'll work the same or better I'm sure it'll give more of a matte look it says that it will help hide redness and inflammation which is perfect after you get your eyebrows done I guess and it lifts brow creating a fuller wider gaze so I picked that up to try it out and then I saw this pressed powder also infused with green tea it says provides a smooth matte finish sets makeup and controls shine so it's pretty little so right now I have the hard candy and it's like a loose powder and I always use that at the end and I really like it as a makeup setter but this one's more of a pressed powder so yeah it, I mean it's white at first and then you kind of rub it in and it I mean I yeah it kind of went white but like so worth a try right I mean for a dollar just smells like makeup it says using a powder brush sweep across the face to even and smooth your complexion it can be used over makeup or alone so I don't know for a dollar I thought they would give them a try I liked the packaging I liked the green tea infused so I grabbed them all right a few more things there's also some more Valentine's Day in here so I picked up these so they are I get situated with my hands what do I do with my hands guys I picked up these little I think they're cupcake cups is what they're supposed to be it just says paper cups maybe not I don't know if you're supposed to bake with them I got them so um, if you watched a couple I think the last one or the last two I'm starting another channel I'm doing Weight Watchers I'm doing a new health goal 
thank thank you to all of you that have followed me over there. I think I have 17 subscribers already and I haven't posted anything. It's been a week. I just haven't had a chance. Plus I get the jitters of like starting a new channel and introducing myself and talking about all the things. Like I, I have some anxiety and jitters about it, which is funny because I can sit here with you guys now and I'm fine, but I get really nervous for doing it for the other channel. So I haven't gotten there yet. I think it's because it's new, new and it's new material and yeah anywho so as i'm doing weight watchers i like to like sort out like snacks and stuff and i thought these would be cute for snacks and these are not reusable i don't i mean they're throwaway and you get 10 in each package so i picked up two but i thought that they were really cute for that so like you know you you weigh out your food i use a scale and i weigh out a lot of things or you count out your food and then this way like you put it in here and then that's what you have and like you know you don't go overboard by having like a whole bag of something for the same purpose, there's another one in there. I picked up two of these. These are the silicone heart molds. So I'm pretty sure you can also bake cupcakes in these, or you can do like chocolate molds, or you can do like wax molds, or I mean, your options are endless, but I like them, like if I'm doing blueberries with my breakfast, this is just a cute way, like I could throw the blueberries in this and it just looks pretty and cute. And I know it's just for me, but like if I like it, like it just makes it easier, right? Or cut up some strawberries or any of that kind of stuff. You know, it just makes it nice on the plate and I am weird, I like I don't like my food touching. So like if I have like eggs like with yolk and like the yolk comes out and like I have strawberries, like the yolk cannot touch my strawberries or I won't eat them. So this will keep it separate. So I picked up two of those for that purpose and it's just cute on your plate, right? Um, I have in here, I don't know where the other one of those is. Speaking of blueberries and strawberries, I've not tried these before, but uh, I decided to give them a shot. So I got these for my berries. So I'm going to wash them and put them in here. It's supposed to help keep them from going bad because it, I think it like, drops the moisture lower. And so I've done it before in my regular containers and I like laid out paper towels but I think I'm going to try this just to see. So I picked up two of these and gray is like my color through the house. I was between this and the um, kind of teal color and I ultimately went with the gray and now I'm kind of wishing I went with the teal color. So hopefully they still have more and I'll grab them. But I grabbed two of those because I want to try that out with some of my berries and right now I have blueberries in the fridge. So it'll be worth the try. Seriously, what did I do with those other cups? Pretty sure I picked up two and my brand I picked up two. Um, so when I was looking at the fairy gardens for the Valentine's Day stuff, I found some of the summer ones too. They were kind of intermixed in there. I had picked up some of the summer fairy garden back in the summertime, uh, but I never found like the little guy. So this one has the starfish, the chest, and a life preserver. So I thought that was really cute. And then this one has a palm tree and a different life preserver. That's funny, I didn't even notice. So they both have like a little life preserver, but this one's just round and that one's like on a thing. And a sand bucket with sand and a sand pail. So I thought those were cute. So last year I had the goal, we were gonna do little fairy gardens, like the kids and I, cause my husband doesn't care, but the kids and I, and then put them like outside. And we just never got to it. Like the spring came and went and then the summer came and went and we just never did it. So we're gonna do it this year. Uh, I hauled a bunch of these already and then I found one more set and it's the sports guys and I wasn't going to pick them up but I picked up the trays that are like are the sports so like the the baseball triangle and like a football field and so I was like well these kind of seem like they would go with that right so I grabbed them for that and then they can go together with that I've never given those to the kids at this point this was new I've never seen this before it is sketch it let me do it on the English side. Sketch it, unless you speak, I think, French. This looks very French. Um, so you get, like, a dry erase board, some cards, and a timer. And so I'm guessing, like, Pictionary style. So my kids love games. I hate games. They always make a big mess. They always start to bicker and fight. They're not my favorite things when the kids play the games. But the kids love playing the games, so... It is what it is. They tape that up real good, which is good so you don't lose the pieces. All right, so kitten. So that's cute. Let's see. So you get these cards, and they say different things that they have to draw. I imagine you can't say anything. They just draw it. So we got kitten, 
swimming, motorcycle, flying, airplane, dragon. All right, so that's cool. And then there is a timer. It's a good deal because you could buy these singly all by themselves for a dollar. The dry erase marker, which I feel like these ones are terrible. They dry up real fast, but they're in there. And you can always just use your other dry erase markers. If you're like me, you have a bunch. Is this the board? Yep. And then like a little, just like plastic board to draw on. So that's fun for a dollar. I'm still a dollar here in Colorado. So, so that's fun. I've never seen it before. I thought I'd pick it up because I think the kids will like it. This was on my wish list. I was not being able to find them. I only picked up one, which I'll definitely regret. But um, I can only think of for Lorelai and like for like this would be cute for Easter to like put some goodies in or put them. Oh, some, put some in and put it in her Easter basket. So I got that for this is like really nice, like the way it opens and closes. Yep, nope, that's a winner. So that was on my wish list. Glad I found it. Am I to the end? I think I'm to the end, guys. Sorry, this is a long one. Oh, I have two more things. I bought little rubber bands. I was looking for these and it took longer than it should have to find them because I watched some little hairstyle YouTubes and I wanted to try these little pullbacks. I got my hair done today, guys. So it looks really pretty. Like I keep kind of looking at it myself because I just got it dyed this morning. Um, but I had found uh, a little hairstyle I wanted, but I needed little rubber bands. And I was looking for a long time before I finally came across them. And then lastly, I was seeing people haul of these. And so I picked some up. I grabbed three packages because I, one, expect to love them, and then that way I have them. And two, I'll probably never see them again because, you know, you run into good stuff like this one time. So it is a three-pack of reusable makeup removing rounds. It is not an easy open right there. Um, let's see, machine washable, 100%. It doesn't, they're made by Sa Saley. Oh, they're all attached together in here. So you, okay, so they're just like a soft microfiber. They're squishy. So I usually get the washcloth ones, like they're pink in a circle from Dollar Tree, which I love. Um, but these like have foam in the middle and they're soft. And I like it that they have like a little hang loop to like hang after you're done so they can dry. So super excited to find those. So Oh, okay, guys, that is my haul for today. Thank you for sticking around if you're still here. If you're still here, and I wasn't even doing this on purpose, I just keep talking about everything else. I forgot. I'm going to do my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I keep trying to do it. Like, I want to do something, like, big and, like, exciting, and I just, I'm, I'm running out of things. It's going to, so usually, usually my giveaways, I do about a $10-ish range i was doing them at every 100 subscribers and you know that adds up and especially there towards the end like i was getting 100 subscribers each time pretty fast but i'm going to do obviously i'm going to do more than a 10 dollars gift i think i'm going to do two gift cards i'm going to do one to dollar tree and i'm going to do one i think to starbucks because someone gave me that idea and i'm like that's lovely i love starbucks myself it's one of my favorite treats and i'll go treat myself um, if you live in an area, though, if you win and you live in an area that doesn't have a Starbucks, then we could talk about changing it to somewhere else. I also really love Target, so that is one that I don't mind giving either. Um, and then I'm going to do some sort of goodies, you know, pack up some goodies to go along with it. So it's going to be an awesome gift. I will try to tailor it towards the winner. Um, I a lot of times like to ask you, is the winner, like, what do you like? What are you looking for? Is there anything you're like, you know, looking for or wish list items you can't find? Because if I can help find them, then I will. So um, it'll be an awesome gift. I don't know exactly the monetary value, but it's going to be better than $10 because it's a bigger celebration for 10 or for over a thousand subscribers. So to be entered to win into my giveaway, Please, in the comments below, do hashtag 1000. It's just easy. So do the hashtag number 1000, all together one word. I am going to keep this going for a week. So next Friday, today's Friday, yeah. So next Friday, I don't I don't know the date off the top of my head, guys. Um, next Friday, I will put it in the comments down below with all the rules. Um, I will draw a winner and I will announce the winner on my channel. 
and so all the rules will be in the description box below you have to be 18 or over you do have to be in the United States um, I guess if you're not I, I don't know how much it costs to just send an envelope overseas and I don't know if our gift cards work over like anywhere else other than call or not Colorado other than the United States I just don't know the the answer to that so you have to reside in Colorado the United States I don't only just love Colorado. I love Colorado, but I don't only just love Colorado. Like, I love you all. You have to live in the United States. You have to be 18 or over to win. Please be subscribed to my channel because that's what's fair. Please um, comment, hashtag 1000 down below. Like this video as well. And, um, yeah, again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and do hashtag 1000 down below. All right, guys, I will see you next time. This went a lot longer than I was expecting. I have just missed you guys. It's been a minute since I've done a video. Um, I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.